Hello, I'm Brent Dyke, Large Dozer Application Specialist with Caterpillar out of East Peoria, Illinois. Technology is a big part of our dozer product today. It brings a lot of things to the table. It helps operators be more productive, more consistently throughout the entire working shift. What that means for you is a lower cost of material moved. Whether you're measuring that material that you're moving in tons per hour or loose cubic yards, loose cubic meters, or bank cubic yards and bank cubic meters. One of those technologies we're going to talk about today is Auto Blade Assist. Most large track type tractors have dual tilt technology on them, which basically is a tilt cylinder on the right and left side of the blade. What that allows operators to do is to pitch that blade forward and back depending on the material conditions, but also depending on what stage of the cycle they're in, whether they're loading the blade, carrying the material, and then finally spreading that material to its final destination. So by being able to pitch that blade, it helps operators be more productive. But that also brings a little bit more workload to the operator. They have to be watching what the material is doing. They have to kind of understand where that blade is in its full tilt stroke. And that's where Auto Blade Assist comes in. It allows the operator to preset those different pitch positions into the tractor and then select those dozer positions with a push of a button. Okay, we're going to do a pass uh, in this D9T that we've got here. We're going to go ahead and do this manually with the blade pitch control. So I'm going to be actually working the blade pitch myself. We've got different camera angles on the tractor setup. We've got one on the very front of the tractor looking down uh, to the front of the cutting edge. We also have one that's mounted on the left lift cylinder looking down at the tilt cylinder onto the left. And then the two cameras here in the cab to kind of show you what's happening as far as uh, inside with the uh, joystick controls. And then what we're going to do is in the cut, I've got the blade set up to where I think is a pretty good angle to, to cut this material. It's a, it's a lighter material, so it's not going to cut hard, so I don't need a lot of aggressive angle. But what I'm going to do is once I then get the blade loaded, is then lay the blade back and then move into the carry, then go ahead and transition through the carry into the spread and then pitch the blade forward. So that's what we're going to see on this pass when we go through. So we're going to go ahead and get the tractor loaded up here. Okay, now we're starting to get loaded here. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay that blade back a little bit more and let that material start to lay into the blade. So I've got the blade laid back and we're moving into the carry. I'm going to carry this material up this little hill we've got built. Now we're getting up close to the spread. So as we're climbing up, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start pitching the blade forward, put a little lift into it. And then we're going to return back for our next pass. Okay, now we're going to do the same pass again, but I'm going to use Auto Blade Assist. And basically I'm going to be using my trigger button over here on the joystick, which is the, the inside yellow button on the thumb. And what that's going to do is, is basically cycle through the blade pitches that I've got already uh, stored into the, the tractor. And you can change those settings however you feel you need to depending on your conditions. Uh, but you can go ahead and cycle through those as we go through the, the transition. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a load, a carry, and then a spread, and then a return. And then you'll kind of get a difference as to what using Auto Blade Assist does to kind of adjust my workload. So that's what we're going to do right about now. Okay, so I'm going to start getting the blade loaded. We've got a pretty good slot working here, so we should be carrying a little bit more material out in front. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the button, and it's going to lay me back into the carry. It didn't seem like it changed much because we had a pretty light cut angle set there. We're going to go into the carry. And as we get up to the top of the spread, we'll go ahead and we'll trigger the next sequence in Auto Blade Assist. And basically what that's going to do is begin to roll that blade forward. And then it'll actually add a little bit of lift for me. And then I'm going to go into reverse. And the blade will actually raise itself, recycle its pitch, and get ready for my cut angle again when I make the next pass. So it's coming back to the same pitch each and every time that I've got set up. 
So as you can see, Autoblade Assist is a great technology tool to help reduce the workload that the operator has, allowing them to be as productive as possible through the entire work day. For more information on CAT products, please feel free to go out to our website at cat.com. Thank <laughs> you.